In this video, we'll create a share option. So when the user chooses to share any word with our app, our app will show the meaning of that word. Now let's go to Android manifest. To receive data, we need to add an intent filter to let the system know what type of data we are willing to accept. And we'll add this intent filter in word meaning activity. With Android intent action sent, we can receive intent from this action. Category is default and MIME type is text plain because we'll only accept text type data. And here we need to add Android launch mode single task. If we don't add single task, it will create multiple tasks of our app. Now on to our word meaning activity. Now in order to receive the shared word, we need get intent, get action and get type. And now we check if the action is action sent and type is not null. And with another if, we check the type to see if it's text plain type. If it's true, we get the text to this shared text variable. And if the shared text is not null, we match it with our pattern. And if it matches, then we assign it to this en word variable. And else, which means it doesn't match, we assign not available to this en word variable. Now let's move this insert history inside this if and else which means the word is not in our database we assign not available to this en word variable okay now let's run the app now let's open a browser now let's select the word take and click share here we can see our app okay so let's select this and we can see the definition of take now let's share another word now let's select this sentence and share dictionary not available and now if we click back our app just exits but it should go to our main activity so let's fix that Let's create a boolean variable started from share and set it to false. And inside this if we assign it to true. And now on option item selected if started from share is true then we start our main activity and we need to set flags to flag activity new task flag activity clear task and then we start the activity and else we call on back pressed and now on to our main activity now we'll add double back press to exit our app it will help our app from exiting on accidental back press let's add a boolean variable double back to exit pressed once and set it to false now we need to override the method on back pressed. On back pressed, if double back to exit pressed once is true, we call super on back pressed. And then we set double back to exit pressed once to true and make this toast. And now we'll run this handler for 2 seconds. And after 2 seconds, we set double back to exit pressed once to false. If the user presses back again within these 2 seconds, our app will exit. Now let's run the app. Now let's press back. We can see our toast. Now let's press back twice within 2 seconds. And now let's share the word place. Dictionary. And we can see the definition. Let's press back and we go to our main activity.
that is all for this video